Hey, welcome to, uh, who knows? Who knows, man? Uh, happy Black Friday. This is recorded on Black Friday uh, after the day is finished. I just got finished driving seven hours from home, well, from my family's at to get back home. A little tired, took some vodka. Why not? You know, had that big Thanksgiving meal. Happy Thanksgiving. If you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, well, then hopefully you saw some people and you just, I don't know, man. I hope, I hope whatever happened in the last 72 hours is good for you. This is Verona, I'm assuming. Reading that Ruskia, Verona. And uh, what is this? Pa, pa, oh, what's the X in Russian? Is it Z? Sh, pop sheet? Pop, pop seat? Anyways, let's go, dude. Let's, let's, I'm excited. I wouldn't, you know, I know she's going to be good. That's why I clicked it. I'm, I'm, you know what I'm excited about is that I have no, I can't, I can't tell the structure of the song. I can just tell that like her voice is great. Costumes are great. Hair is great. But I don't know this. I don't know anything yet. Cause it's just. God. Oh, it's a dance song. The last two songs were blues based. This one's also blues based. It just doesn't sound like blues because it's so slow. <laughs> Melody's not blues. Even though it's only two notes. There's a little half steps. Not very, it's not a bluesy melody, but it is a bluesy structure. <laughs> oh, someone got mad. I don't care. I want to, I want to figure this one out too. Ah, oh, it's a, such a cool little chord press. Three chords. Look for a pick. I don't want to play with my fingers, bro. Chords as some other, uh, one of the other songs. It's the same chords. Bass line. Why does it sound wrong? Maybe it's B minor. I was wrong. That B. So I know this, it's not even boring for you, but I love it. I'm going with that. I'm going to say it's B minor, then a B minor inversion, then the uh, F sharp dominant seven in the back of the B minor solo. Like. Okay, I'm done with that. Voice is powerful, uh, and I guess let's make that important, the whole figuring out the chord chords part. What makes that more exciting now that I figured it out, before I figured it out, is that if it really is a B minor and then an inversion of B minor, that's just the same chord restructured. And then the F sharp dominant seven really makes it, even though it sounds like three chords, it's actually only two, which means all of the really interesting stuff is just the vocal melody and the rhythm of the drums across the chords that make it sound more complicated than it is, but it's not really complicated. Just the singing is incredible. I'm not gonna figure this section out. This is, it's cool. It's a cool contrast, but it, to me, it's not like exciting. That other part's the main part. Actually sounds like it's still centered around a B minor here as well. 
Oh, they look like animals running around. Sorry, man. Y'all gonna hate this reaction. I'm just like hyped up, but I'm happy to be back in front of the camera and and uh, watching music. You know what? Yeah. I'm sorry if you hate it. If you hate it, you probably already gone. <laughs> like an evil maybe not evil but a dark pied piper she's like an enchantress and they're all like mesmerized by her so they like they left and kind of danced around but then they all ended up coming back at the bottom of the slab and now going right back to her because she's actually in control you know telepathically <laughs> Yeah, I just came from home, man. So I was just hanging out with my parents, and as uh, my great my my grandparents are old, they are old. But as my grandma would say, that shit's fire. That shit's fire. <laughs> 